There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to man. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is a place that lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is Willow Canyon. stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Good morning, Wildcats. I'm Mitchell. And I'm Kenz. Today is 9-11, so we would like to honor all of those fallen as well as all the medical personnel associated with the tragic event. Here's a video segment thanking and honoring those that were involved. We'll never forget the day the world changed. Two towers representing human progress. A five-sided symbol of American safety. A group of innocents who sacrificed themselves to save something bigger than themselves. We'll always remember the firefighters who didn't come back when faced with an impossible task. The police officers who maintained order while there was only panic and chaos. We'll never forget the confusion and the fear. Families calling out of touch relatives to see if they're still okay. And then saying, I love you. The grief of a phone not answering. The euphoria of a return call. We'll always remember where we were that day. Parents trying to make sense of what happened and then explaining it to their children. The initial feeling of disbelief. Followed by the lack of comprehension. We'll never forget the day the world changed. The day that broke the world together. The day that united all Americans the day that we decided we would stand up against fear. We'll always remember. We'll always remember. We'll always remember. And never forget. And never forget. And never forget. And never forget. Once again, thank you very much to all fallen. You may be gone, but your memory will live forever. The Surprise Police invite you to attend the upcoming game night, and you will meet on Saturday, October 3rd from 6 to 9 at 15960 North Bullard Avenue. Surprise authorities will be in attendance providing displays, children's fingerprinting kits, bicycle safety information, and trick demos, fire prevention equipment, and safety information for all ages. That was a mouthful. Nice job. Thank you. Other activities will include inflatable children's rides, DJ music, free raffles, great prizes, along with food vendors. Also, in support of the Arizona Special Olympics organization, public safety personnel will also be accepting donations to help benefit the athletes of the Arizona Special Olympics. In the event of inclement weather, please contact the Surprise Police Department Community Action Line for cancel cancellation notification. The number is 602-222-4422. So join in on the fun, further a great cause, and hang out with members of your Surprise Public Safety Departments. Now let's check out a commercial. What, 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 drop base. What, 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 what. Yeah! Thank you, random dude. Welcome back, Wildcats. 
The Best Buds Club informational meeting has been rescheduled. The new meeting will be held on Wednesday, September 16th at 2.30 in room 315. The Frankenstein rehearsals are right after school until 5 o'clock. There will be a short thespian meeting at 2.20, so do not miss it. Book Club will now be held every first and third Wednesday of every month. All fandoms are welcome to go, so make sure you check it out. On September 16th from 5 to 8 p.m., go to Yoga TV to support Student Council. Sophomores and juniors, you've heard it before. The PSAT is at, you can pick up your forms at the office. Make sure to turn them into the bookstore. Spots are limited. Make sure your parents sign the form so that you are able to test. It costs $15. And now we have a special announcement from Dr. Ward. Congratulations to Alex Ferraro, junior cross-country runner and our first recipient for Wildcat Student Athlete of the Week. Alex is a first-year cross-country runner. His first competition was Wednesday, September 2nd, 2015, where he began as our number eight alternate varsity runner, but finished as our number five runner for the evening. He has a current GPA of 4.25 and was elected as treasurer of National Honor Society by his peers last spring. Alex is as committed to his academics as he is to his athletic involvement. He is a model student that demonstrates wildcat pride, perseverance, and compassion every day. Please join us in congratulating Alex as this, school's, this school year's first Larry H. Miller Wildcat Student Athlete of the Week. Thank you, Dr. Ward, and congratulations to Alex. That's really impressive. I try to get a 4.25 GPA. Somewhere <laughs> around there, but not quite there. Now let's check out the weather with AJ. Here comes the sun, doo 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 doo. I'm AJ, and this is uh, tomorrow's weather. Let's take a look, okay? Tomorrow we got a high of 106, low of 79. That, <laughs> the light wind's going south at five miles an hour. Let's take a look at the rest of the week. Why it must be raining money, because there is change in the weather. Ha ha ha, we can see highs at 106, lows of 72, 10% chance of rain. We may see some lightning, who knows? Now, let's take a look at someone else. And now we go to sports. Hey there, Wildcats. I'm Jacob, and I'm here with the man with the plan, the guy who runs really fast. I'm here with Alex, our Willow Canyon Wildcat Athlete of the Week. Um, we got a few questions. People have been dying to know these questions. Are you ready to answer them? I am. Okay. Who is your idol? James Bond. James Bond. No, which version, which reincarnation of James Bond? From Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Okay, great movie, great movie. Definitely. If you had a favorite ice cream flavor, which you probably do, what is it? Mint chocolate chip. Oh my goodness. The green. That's pretty good. The I'm green more one. of a cookies and cream guy myself. And if you were an animal, what animal would you be? A tiger. A tiger. How come a tiger? Because tigers are, I mean, they're good. Mm -hmm. They're, uh, they're pretty cool. You know, Tigger, I like Tigger. Oh, He's a tiger. Oh, yeah, Winnie the Pooh. Great movie. Great movie. Uh, great show. Program. Anyway, we have some announcements for you, and Alex, my friend here, is going to help me read them. We have a football game tonight at Sanjay O'Connor. Sanjay O'Connor is located right off Happy Valley Road on the I 17. The Powderpuff football team has a game on the 24th at 6 p.m. here. If you have any sports announcements that you want us to broadcast your practice schedules, all that good stuff, email us at wchsannouncements15 at gmail.com. That's all we have for you today. Now back to your main anchors. Thank you so much, Jake and Alex. Head down to Phoenix on the 19th for the U of A Honors College Preview. It's from 9 to 11 a.m., so make sure to sign up at www.honors.arizona.edu forward slash Phoenix Preview. And that's all we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And have, have a great, great Dice, Dice Art day. day. All right, ready? Bring it in, bring it in. Jellyfish, bring it back in. Oh, yes, there we go, right there.